Bonjour, class. Bienvenue dans la classe de français, Anne. Today we are talking about lesson 14, which starts in your textbook on page 210. On y va? On y va. Super bien, class. Today we're looking at our vocabulary, our brand new verb, the verb aller, and then we'll take a look at the workbook so you can see what assignment you have to do for today's asynchronous learning. Hooray. Let's start off with some vocabulary, and I know it says page 210, it's not the beginning of the chapter, but it is partway through the chapter on this page, we have some new vocab. And we're gonna start off with different places one can go. Last week we talked about places around town. You can go to the store, au magasin, to school, à l'école. Uh, you can go to the park, on va au parc. But now we're talking about more general places or other things that weren't part of last week's vocabulary. For example, what if you want to go to a party? It's not a specific building, but it's a good place to go. Class, on va à une boom. Une boom, because the music's going boom, 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 boom. It's a party, y'all. Or another word for a party is une fête. Like someone's birthday party is une fête d'anniversaire. It's kind of like the word festival. We oui? une boom ou une fête. Another place you can go is to an appointment. Class en français, un rendez-vous. Now we like to think of this word rendez-vous like it has some sort of ho 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 special meaning, but really the word rendez-vous isn't anything mysterious. It's just an appointment, a meeting. It's just a place to go on rendezvous. Class, another place you might go to is un événement. Événement. Oh, I gotta make sure I'm getting my accents right. There's a lot of accents in this one. Événement. Événement. Oui, c'est ça. Are there two? There's just those two. The accents are throwing me off. Class, un événement is really what it looks like in English. An event. You're going to an event, so anything that you go to, you could call an événement. How about this one down here? Can you tell what's happening? They're playing their music, their music and their guitars on stage. It is un concert. Same word as in English, just pronounce it with a French accent. Un concert. Up over here, it's a soccer game, but any kind of game in French is called un match. Un match de football, par exemple. This one is one of my favorites. It's basically a cognate for English, but when you pronounce it in French, it just has certain je ne sais quoi. It's so cute. Un pique-nique. Class, look how they spell it. The Q-U-E. So fancy, those French. Un pique-nique. And finally, down here, we have the cinéma. You guys already know le cinéma or le ciné from last week, but now we also know that it is un film because you're just going to see a movie or a film, un film, voila. Plus, there's a little more vocab. How are you going to get there? Comment aller? Aller means to go. We're gonna talk about that verb in just a moment. But how are you gonna go? Are you just gonna go on foot? Are you just gonna walk? A pied, on foot. Are you gonna maybe take your bike? A vélo, go on your bike. Maybe you're gonna go in a car. This one's a little different, on, because you're literally in the car. Voiture, très bien. Or maybe you're taking the bus. Same word as in English, en bus. Maybe it's a longer trip and you're gonna take the train. This one is, oh, not en bus, <laughs> en bus, madame, E-N, check that out. Same thing here, just like en voiture, en bus, en, Train. Listen to that pronunciation. The word, yes, it is train. It's spelled the same, but pronounce it train, en train. Oui, voilà. And if you're in a bigger city where this is available, they do have Uber now in France, en Uber, but this is en taxi. Taxi being the more general term for that. Now that's where you're going to go and how you're going to go, but what's the word to go? Let's talk about that verb. It's the verb aller. Aller, aller. Aller means to go. You will hear football fans 
shouting this at the games because they're going to be like, ale, 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 go, 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 as their man is running down the field. And here is how you conjugate it. Ale means to go, but if you want to say, I'm going somewhere, you say, je vais. Class répété, je vais. I go. Tu va. You go. Il va. Elle va. He or she goes. Nous allons. We go. Vous allez. All y'all go. And I say that because vous is quite often plural for you. It could be formal though, like if you were talking to someone where you had to be a little more polite. That's two is the informal, friendly. Vous is the more formal, good manners version of you. And then finally, ils vont, elles vont. Hear that French nasal, ho, ho, ho? That means they go. Il for masculine, elle for feminine. Let's do that one more time, class. Répétez après moi. Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va. Nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. We did a little song in class. If you were there in class, I'll link to that YouTube video as well. But it goes like this. Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va. Nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va. Nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. Sing that a few times. Get it stuck in your head. That way you'll have this verb memorized in no time. And there's one other thing to help you remember this verb. It's the fact that je vais, tu vas, il va, all start with the letter V. But if you look over here, nu and vu do not start with the letter V. Nous allons. Look at that. Vous allez. But then it goes back to the letter V for ils vont and elles vont. So what's happening here? If we circle all of the conjugations that start with the letter V, oh yeah, there it is. We get the shape of a shoe. Do you see how that's in the shape of a shoe? Kind of, sort of. And the other trick is, nu and vu are the laces of the shoe because nu and vu tie back to the infinitive. Here's the infinitive. It starts with an A-L-L. -L, and so do the conjugations for nu and vu. They tie back to the infinitive because they have the same stem, the same beginning. Nous allons, vous allez, just like the infinitive alle. But everything else is different. It starts with a V. So everything in the shoe is the same. And these two are the laces that tie back to the infinitive. Does that make sense? I hope that helps you to learn this conjugation. Okay, super bien, class. So we have our vocabulary. We have our brand new verb. Now, when you talk about going to a place in French, do you all remember the word for to? Like to go to the store or to the library or go to school? What is it? If you said ah, you are correct. It's a teeny tiny word, but it's a word that makes a big difference. So let's look at different versions of this word. First of all, j'habite à Paris. To Paris or in Paris or at Paris, this little word means a lot of different things. It means I'm going to a place, but it means I'm already at that place. It means I'm in the city, etc., etc. Teeny tiny word means a lot of things. J'habite à Paris. Il va à Chuck E. Cheese. He's going to Chuck E. Cheese. To a à la piscine. You are at the pool. You see how that all works. But ah uh, sometimes changes depending on what you're talking about. For example, if you were going to say, I'm going to a masculine place, le café, or 
le parc, par exemple, or le supermarché. We remember these from last week's vocab. Instead of saying, je vais à le café, they shorten it up. They say, je vais au café. A plus le becomes o. It's like a contraction. It's like it's instead of it is. You see how that works? So, je vais au café. Je vais au parc. Je vais au supermarché. If it's a plus la, no, it doesn't change at all. So, if you're going to um, la bibliothèque, right? If you're going to la piscine, ou la plage, to the beach, or la boom, to the party, you just put a in front of that. There's no contraction there. So, a plus la is just a la, a la bibliothèque, a la piscine, a la plage, a la boom. Finally, if you're going to a place that's plural, we don't talk about this that much, but maybe you're going to several stores. So you're going to les magasins, because you're hitting up the mall and you're going to all the stores that you can. Well, you don't say à les, that changes to this guy right here, au, A-U-X, au magasin. So the thing with this is if it's plural, you're going to more than one place, that's when you change it to O. It's pronounced the same as O over here. Over here is pronounced O, and over here is pronounced O, but there is an X when you're spelling it on paper. Je vais au café. Tu vas à la piscine. Nous allons au magasin. That's how you say where you're going to. Class, we can take all of this information now and bring it together and do our workbook assignment. And this is what the workbook assignment looks like. Hey, La Torre Eiffel, we start off with the Eiffel Tower. Class, this is on page 127 in your workbook. And so the thing to do here is fill in the correct forms of the verb alle. Make sure they're the ones that fit. So make sure you fit the correct spelling of the verb alle, and then put the subject pronouns that match here. Is it going to be tu? Is it il? Is it je? Nu or vous or il or el plural. Okay, fill in Ale right there. This part down here, say where these people are going, and it's based off of what they want to do. So if Caroline aime nager, she likes to swim, well, she's going to the pool. Elle va, we conjugate Ale, elle va à la piscine. And now we're using à la for feminine places and au for masculine places, and there's maybe a place or two. I think everything's singular, so it's either going to be a or uh, a la, sorry, or o. Say where they're going based on what they like to do. Use this word bank and use your little teeny tiny words, a and o. And finally, what are these people doing? You conjugate the verb and they're talking to someone or they're making a phone call to someone or he's going to be at a place. And so this is practice with your verbs, your regular ER verbs, but also practice with O and a la and possibly AUX because we do have right here les touristes. That's plural. That's going to be O with an X at the end. And maybe, oh, les élèves. There's another one. That's plural. Okay. So same thing. Say what the people are doing. Use these verbs. Conjugate these verbs. Change the ER verbs to E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T, and then use the correct A, O, or A, La. Does that make sense? You guys, if you have questions, please feel free to email me, um, contact me, but this is what we're doing for this week's lesson. So, happy to see you here again, and I will see you again in class. Thanks for joining us, and go forth. Ale, go work on your stuff. Au revoir, à bientôt.